Ladies and gentlemen, our final bout of the evening is scheduled for four three-minute rounds. It is a co-main event. This is a light heavyweight title fight. Your judges scoring this fight at ringside are John Rupert, Mike Ross, Gene Waring, and Don Ballas. Your referee in charge of the action, Jorge Alonso. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the black trim, standing six feet tall, weighing 193 pounds. He is undefeated in his career, 13 wins, no losses, with eight big knockouts. His fighting style is Muay Thai. He comes from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the PKL International Cruiserweight Champion. Here is Christian King Cobra Tolek. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, standing six feet tall, 193 pounds. His professional record, five wins, two losses with three knockouts. His fighting style is Muay Thai from Jacksonville, Florida. Here is Roy Filippi. This is Brian Ungst joining you again with Master Amir Ardabili at Shindo Kumite 4. This is the main event between Christian Tolek in the red and black trunks against Roy Filippi in the black and white trunks. And Master Amir, Roy from Jacksonville, is 11 years younger than his opponent, Christian Tolek. No, I don't think we should be fooled by anybody's age. As you know, Orlando Riviera is one of the best fighters in the world, and he's almost 40 years old. So... Uh, we'll see what happens. That's absolutely true. And Christian Telek in much better shape than Roy Filippi, at least on the outside. Both fighters are measured right now. He's throwing a nice leading uh, front kick. Testing that midsection of Filippi, which he definitely should be doing. Absolutely. And that's a, way, that's a good way to set up your opponent anyway. I mean, uh, he's doing a great power kick right now. Three in a row, all landed to the midsection, followed by a nice straight right hand. You could tell that uh, he has a lot more experience. That's obvious in his motion. To of course, uh, Philippe is a very good fighter. He's a very powerful fighter. I've seen him fight in Shindo Kumite before. This is a third fight in Shindo. Tolek has 13 wins. He's been around for a long time. I like to think that this is going to be a war. And since this is the main event, that's what I like to see. You know. It's for the light heavyweight title here at Shindo Kumite 4. An action-packed card. A great evening of fights so far. Nice, powerful right hand. And Filippi now answering back with a nice little left hook. Trying to do some sweeping kicks here. None of those landing. Nice, hard nice. shot. Nice. Digging shot to the powerful body. Kick. I mean, he's outstanding kick. That was beautiful. Telek just staying away and doing his thing at this point. In total control of the fight up to this point. Uh... Seeing uh, Felipe fight before in the, in the Shindo Kumite, I would not underestimate him. Uh, this guy is powerful, is very, very tricky, and he might stand over there and get a few shots, but I'm telling you, he will come back with powerful shin kicks. He's taken some sh good shots now, and he has not, he's not stopped coming forward, moving in, covering himself up very well. Another digging right hand to the body of Felipe by Telek. Those punches may prove to be the distance difference. But Telek has very, uh, very good uh, boxing skills, as you can tell. Uh, he has beautiful punches, beautiful kicks. He combines them very nicely. Nice, nice kick to the head. Telek unloading with the uppercut and the jabs, and followed by a straight right hand. And now Felipe trying to answer with low shin kicks. Now that shin kick hurt. Oh, nice. digging shot to, to the, the body. body. That was beautiful. The body work is like putting money in the bank. It definitely pays off, especially as the fight goes on. And you can see the redness on the stomach of Filippi. Now a big Another digging. Another arm broke. His arm broke. His, his arm, arm broke is badly. broken. He broke his forearm in half. And we saw that in the last fight. This fight, this fight is, is over. over. That was Christian a powerful Tillet. shin kick to that forearm. Devastating knockout it's of Christian exactly Tillet. the same thing happened in the last fight. Uh, Stefan dropped his arm down and broke his arm pretty badly. And this was exactly the same thing. His arm broke in half. He is in shock right now. And the medical practitioners are rushing into the ring. We have uh, two professional physicians here on hand taking care of Roy Filippi. He is Filippi. in a lot of pain right now. He is in shock right now. That arm was in half. And you could hear that. You could see it in, in slow motion right here. 
when he blocked, he was blocking his face. That's where that kick came, and you know his, his arm is arm. bent. Unbelievable, that's, devastating knockout. Well, that's the name of the game. You know, you do uh, professional Muay Thai, and that's exactly what happens. And Amir, what are the odds that both of the of the main events, the main event and the semi-main event, both this the guy titles. is that warrior. Look at him. I mean, he has that arm is. As he's shaking, his arm is broken, it comes back in the middle of the, he doesn't even want to sit down. I mean, I respect this fighter, unbelievable. And of course, uh, Tulek, what a powerful fighter. You see, age 39, as I told you, we can't be fooled by somebody's age. Absolutely that was outstanding. Not. Absolutely not, he came to win, he's in excellent shape, he dominated the fight from the outset, and it was a devastating shot. Very nice sportsmanship, I like that. You know, he goes over there, give him a hug, and, and uh, this is just unbelievable fight. What a way to end it here. Shindo Kumite for the main event light heavyweight title going to Christian Telek, age 39, from Fort Lauderdale. Uh, that's a bad break on uh, Philippe's arm, and that's going to require a surgery. That's not something that you could uh, basically just put a cast on it. And, uh, like that. And just, this is Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice round of applause for both fighters, please. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, due to an injury suffered by Roy Filippi, referee Jorge Alonso stops this bout at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number one. Your winner and light heavyweight champion, Christian King Cobra Tolek. We'll be back after this. Yikes. Yep. Yeah, that was uh That was a nasty break. That was a tough one to take right there. I almost looked at the little rubber pencil trick on his forearm. Um Well, so you wanna be a Shindo Kumite fighter. You wanna go fight professionally and uh bang your shins and forearms. Yes, not for the faint of heart. Uh, it takes a lot of heart. Well, what we're gonna do when we come back is show what Roy Phillippe could have done against Christian Tolek to prevent that nasty break he took. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Alright everybody, welcome back. As we were speaking earlier about the uh, gruesome arm break suffered by Roy Philippi, what he could have done different, possibly, you know, hindsight being 2020, to avoid that nasty break. Absolutely. Well, don't forget, audience, that that was a great fight, and the both athletes came to display great skills. But you know, the luck was not in Roy Philippi's side. But one of the mistakes I think is Roy took uh, Tolek as kind of a underestimate him, and it just kind of a become a punching bag and walk through all his kicks without creating game plan. When you fight with somebody that experienced, you have to be a little bit smart. And, and and also the way he had his arm block, and I think that was a major cause that the arm broke, and more of a boxer standing and leveraging the kicks. So if you keep have the way he had his guard, it was up like here, and he was eating the kicks. You see, the shin kick was flying into the body with a force, versus if you're somebody throwing a shin kick, you have to double it up with a second arm, correct? So you block it now. See, you're blocking it with the elbow, his hands will go up. And these hands come here, so you have all the leverage in the world. So you just come up here. That's take less shocks in your your hands. And I think you know, a guy like a Tolek with a power 185 pound, a lot of force behind it. The speed of some of those shin kicks travels anywhere from 60 to 150 miles an hour. When you hit somebody, if you have a hard shin bat, shin shin shin, you shin break arm. Right. Yeah. It, it almost seems like uh, Tolek had put so much pressure on him. He was building that. He was you know. Uh, Philip, he was doing everything he could because he was getting hit. I mean, he was catching hard kicks, hard you know, everything. Tolek was a, an animal. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, Dominated the whole show. As you can see on that fight, when he got hit, his hand was next to his jaw and it almost became a lever. Yep. Where, it, because of the absorbing the punches, because Tolek was just dishing it out, with nothing else for the forearm to do at that point but break. Like mine almost just did right there. Definitely. So, Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be back in a short time. Uh, we got a lot more left in the show, and you guys don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Shindo Kumite Strikers. Be sure to tune in next week where we're going to cover MMA versus Muay Thai. Absolutely. This is where you see two of the best fighters of all time. Clifton Brown, who's the number two ranking in the world, greatest Muay Thai practitioner. He beat a lot of great fighters around the world. Versus Crafton Wallace, who's a great kickboxer, martial artist. Switch later stage of his life to become MMA fighters, uh, ground fighters, and he fought in King of the Cage, UFC, and many other great prominent uh, cage fighting organizations, and then he turned around become a Muay Thai fighters and 
facing a, one of the biggest challenges of his time. So this would be a very exciting for exciting show for everybody tuning in next week to watch. Yeah, anyone's got their hands full of Clifton Brown. Now, where can the public go to get more information about Shindo Kumite? Uh, at ShindoKumite.com, you have all the right information about our uh, this episode and future episode and all the future show and the history of the Shindo Kumite, who we are as an organization. Okay, everybody, my name is Anthony Sabia. And I am Master Mirdad. So long for now, everybody. Take care. And remember, we don't tap out, we knock out.